Welcome to, uh, I believe it's part six of the Cafe Racer build. Next up, we're going to start working on uh, prepping this motor to get out. I don't know if I'm going to take it out in this video. Probably not. I'll probably have to save it for another day. I mean, it's Sunday. Got a lot of stuff to do around the house, but I do want to get it prepped, taking the Kickstarter off, stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to do, though, is drain the oil. And see, got an oil drain plugged down there. I'm going to go ahead and drain that. Got my pan there. I believe that there could be the oil filter. I think that whole thing comes off. At least that's my hope. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and drain this, and then we'll come back and take that off. So stay tuned. Apologize, there's not a lot of light down here, but you can see the nice, clean, haha, uh -huh, choke, nice, dirty, dirty oil is draining into the tank here. Uh, it looks like it's pitch black. So, we'll go ahead and let that drain. It appears there is a lot in there, so, looks like we're going to fill up this little bad boy today, maybe. I don't know. So, we'll let that drain, and then uh, we'll be back. Stay tuned. The oil is completely drained. I actually had to call in reinforcements. I had to get the big one out and empty the small one into that. So it filled up, as you can see, it didn't spill over almost, but it didn't. Well, oh, next I'm gonna try to get this off. This is a uh, 10 millimeter, at least it's supposed to be, but it appears to be rounded over. And uh, so that should be a lot of fun. We're gonna go see what it takes to get this off and then uh, we'll be back. Hopefully this is not too shaky. I've actually got you resting on my foot. But yeah, it's a 10 and it is way too rounded off. So we got some vice grips and a mallet. Let's see if we can get this bad boy out of here. That didn't work. It's really, really, really chewed up. And I'd already put some penetrating oil on it before. Clamp it down even harder. And that didn't work. Man. And I just love it when other people just ah, hack stuff. It's great. Get this on here as tight as I can. Nope. Might have to cut it off. Crap. I assume there's going to be some areas that I'd have to do some things like that too, but didn't want to start off this early. So let me decide what I'm going to do. I'm going to squirt some more fluid on there, see if I can maybe loosen it up. Maybe some heat, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, a half hour later, and it's finally off. Uh, you can see the importance of getting it off is I need to have it off to get the motor out of the frame. I didn't record it because it was uh, it was a mess. I uh, tried everything and then uh, basically ended up cutting uh, off the washer, which I skimmed up the, uh, the housing a little bit, which is fine because I'm going to replace that anyway. It had some broken fins on there. Uh, one other thing you'll need to do, hidden behind there, right there. Right there is another drain bolt. Go ahead and crack that open, drain the rest of the oil. And the next step we're going to do, you can see, here's the frame. We've got a bottom oil pan. Now, I don't know if I'll necessarily have to take that out. I might be able to wiggle around it, but I don't think so. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And there are just some, some bolts that uh, hold it on, a series of them around there. So we'll go ahead and undo those. And then uh, we'll come back, and that'll probably conclude this video for now. And uh, next uh, video, which I don't think I'll get to today, but we'll start undoing some of the, the motor mounts and whatnot. There's one, one back there, and there's one down there. So we will undo these bolts for that oil pan, and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. We've got all these bolts out. You see they're nice and shiny on the inside. Obviously rust where the heads are, but whatever. Um, there should be nothing holding this in now. 
Hopefully I'll just have to take this plastic mallet and give it a couple smacks. Voila! There we go. And that'll give us a lot more room. Let's see here. It's got a it's got a rubber gasket on there actually. Feels like it. No, nah, maybe not. So we've got the gasket out. Now what do we have underneath? Let's take a look. Don't know. Looks like we still have that I presume is the oil pump. Look under there. There's the bottom of the motor. Pretty sweet. Might have been a better idea to leave that on there, but I don't think I could have got it off while it's on there. So click we've got I can I'm looking through the camera. So I'm seeing what you're seeing. But that'll do it for now. There's the rest of those bolts. We'll uh, move along. Start taking, uh, we'll probably take the kickstarter, kickstarter off. Maybe that rear brake lever, I'm not going to be using that anyway. The shift lever, and then we'll have to just unplug all the wires from the coil. And we'll have to get the, uh, this is the uh, TAC cable. Couldn't remember the name of that for some unknown reason. But uh, for this one, that'll do it. We'll have another video with some small things, getting it prepped, and then no. We'll have our final video. We also have to do the undo the clutch cable. Our, our final video, not final video, but prepping the motor. We'll be taking it out. So that'll do it for now. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. And uh, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. Actually, before we end this video, that wasn't an oil pump. I don't know why I said pump. That's actually another filter. I just kind of uh, pushed it. And it popped out. It's got a spring on it, and you can see I've got more oil. EPA. Again, this is my first uh, go at really, really tearing down a street bike, especially an old one. So, uh, once again, that'll do it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching.